there are a lot of times that we need to have control over the execution of some of the instructions for example let's say that we want some instruction to get uh, executed whenever we want and as many times as we want so we need to pack those instructions in a separate block and then call that specific block uh, anytime that we want without having to just rewrite every line of code and by just calling the block of date and we want to be able to just execute them uh, as many times as we want we call this block of data or this package of instructions a function you might have heard with other different names like um, procedures routines subroutines or other kind of names it's just um, just remember that all of them are some instructions which have been packed into one single uh, block which causes that we have more control over the execution of those instructions and actually we have been using functions in almost all of the other programs that we wrote in the assemblies just we haven't mentioned it now i want to enter the last program that we were working with with the name of compare.nasm compare that nasm and if you pay attention uh, well just uh, first imagine that you want to implement such a thing right so we want to create a label and then put all of the instructions like this in here but the thing is that if we put it after the start in here the block of data or the instruction would get executed when uh, the rip is pointing to the beginning of the data so we need to put it before the entry point or before the start in here and anytime that we want this to get executed because by default when we put it before the entry point it wouldn't get executed unless we use a jump right so we get to the entry point a start other other ex the instruction would get executed one by one and whenever you want to use the functionality of this block of instructions we would jump to the address of the first instruction or this label which is the uh, printing label in here so this is a function but if you imagine what is the benefit of the function well the benefit of it is that we call the function we execute those, those instructions and then we get back to where we left off so right now we, for example we were in the compare what we have in mind or the maybe the best benefit of this function is if we jump to the printing but after the execution has been completed we would want to get to the next instruction in here but if you notice we haven't done it in the previous lectures so we would jump in here and then we get to the starting point again and it would go on and on and we actually implement a loop using the functions now we want to uh, implement this a separate function that we want to call it and then we get back to after the jump not printing or actually let me just cut all of these lines in here uh, except the last block of data which actually jumps again the czar r10 and r10 would make the r10 to be equal to zero we move the value 2 to r9 register we subtract both of them because r10 value is smaller than r9 value therefore the carry flag would be set and jump below would happen and the rip would be equal to the address of printing therefore this function would get executed after the syscall we get to the entry point again the start and all of these instructions would get executed again and again and we would have a loop so what we have in our mind in here is to say that before we jump we would want to store the rip register and then after the syscall we would want to just restore the rip to its value which would be after this uh, instruction in here and so that we would we could um, execute the uh, exits or invoke the exit system call and therefore exit from the program so what we have in our mind is to use the functions to print the hello world only one time on the screen